I, this is going to be my next project. It's uh, AOE Fast Combat Support Ship USS Detroit AOE 4. Let me read a little bit on here in the side. It says, the Fast Combat Support Ship AOE is the Navy's largest combat logistics ship. The AOE has the speed and armament to keep up with the carrier uh, battle group. It, uh, let's see. It rapidly rapidly replaces the Navy task forces and can and can carry more than 177,000 barrels of oil, 21,150 21, tons of munitions, 500 tons of dry stores, 250 tons of refrigerated stores, uh, redistribution. Uh, let's see. Sorry about that. It receives petroleum products, ammunition, and stores from shuttle ships in other words it doesn't go into any port to get this stuff it just it rendezvous with other ships anyhow uh this should be a fun build and i bought it because it's got these hoses on here which to me is a refueling uh and i have experienced uh, uh refueling the ship while we were out at sea so this is going to be a fun build now this ship in real life is three uh 786 feet long versus the aircraft carrier that's 1073 feet long so this ship is quite big anyhow let me show you what's in the box and uh, we'll get started with this be right back all right guys we're going to start out with the uh instruction booklet there's 12 pages of uh instructions in here and it gives you all these little symbols on the front to tell you uh is an option or a file in sand uh need uh, CA cement there, blah blah blah. Tells you all of those as you're going along. Let's take a look at these instructions. First couple of pages gives you detail of uh, all the sprues and what's on the sprues. And then we'll start with the instructions here. It looks like there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on here. So this should be a very, very fun build. All right, so we got that. And of course, I like all these uh, kits that they give you the uh, color charts. And uh, I don't know if I'll paint it exactly like that, but it might be similar. So, let's start what's in the kit. In the kit, we have decals or decals, as some of you guys may call it. We also have some photo, itch, photo etched parts. That should be fun to do. I have not done any of those yet, so we'll see how that's going to go. Um, we also have some uh, clear plastic for windows I guess there's lots of windows on this ship and we got a display stand and of course we got the full hull uh, full body and then we also have a waterline um, uh, uh, addition if I want to use that I also just went ahead and kind of tack welded tap tack glued the deck into the uh, into the body so Let's carry on. Now, like I said in that instruction booklet, there are a lot of parts here. There's one, two, three, <laughs> four bags of sprue. And this one, I don't know why this one is covered yet. I have not opened it. So, like I said, this is going to be a fun build. Lots and lots of parts on here. And uh, so I think we'll get started on this and uh, we'll see how far we can get. So stay tuned. Let me change camera, camera positions and we will be back in a minute. All right, we're going to get started on this build. Uh, I got a couple of parts already taken off the sprue. Um, I like again uh, that each sprue is lettered with, with a, a letter you know like g a b and c so that's cool it gives you a little bit easier to find the parts you need and we're going to start with this little front piece here because that's that's going to dictate how these side walls are going to go on here i'm not going to build this complete because i have to figure out what color those little uh i think they're hatches they look like hatches to me i'm not 100 percent sure because it doesn't say what they are uh but anyhow uh, i'm going to get a lot of this done but uh not complete so let's go let's take this guy and let's put him up against this uh marker or uh boss that we can call it hook it up if i can get it straight let's 
see, where are my cosmic good tweezers? I guess we'll use these. <clears throat> Alright guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see, we started to do the uh, uh, the second deck, I guess you would call it, on this ship build. But I had to stop because I had to put all these little uh, windows or hatches or whatever um, right here. So now, they are off the sprue and they are ready for paint. And I did mention about paint in my previous uh, uh, video clip. I am going to paint this ship. If you look at the picture of the ship, and I'll show you a picture of the ship, uh, it's it's a very very light gray. It almost looks white, and I have a favorite color um, in the Rust-Oleum family, and it's called. Let's see if I can get this in here. It's called Perfect Gray, and this, if you look at the picture, is a pretty close match to what the picture is all about. Um, so anyhow, uh, I intend to get at least these two pages possibly oh, come on possibly get the um, this is not it possibly get this page done also I don't know I'll have to look and see how much more uh, what other colors need to get painted here but I, I know I'm, I am going to incorporate some white so that being said I'm going to go ahead and paint this stuff and we will be back in a few minutes. All right, guys. <clears throat> in my uh, past experience in building models, uh, especially on my model railroad channel, uh, I do not like to do uh, gluing on top of paint. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and assemble as much as I can on this uh, before I actually paint it. So I went ahead and put a little sub-assembly together here, as you can see. Uh, and that guy...
All right, guys, we're back. I just want to point out something. You guys see me use this uh, adhesive. It's because it gives me just a little bit more working time. Uh, it is a CA and it is a medium gap filled. Uh, if you guys haven't tried it, give it a shot. Uh, give it a try. So what I usually do is I take a piece of old scrap plastic and I'll put a little bit on that plastic. And I use that as my, my dipping point when I'm building something. So now we're going to build all of this stuff here that goes on top of here. Um, and also, uh, so we can get this all in there and paint. I did paint up those little patches or whatever you want to call them. So we're going to start up here. And uh, let's see how this is going to work out. So I have all the parts cut out already. Just need to uh, give it a little clean up. Now, you need to look really carefully on these parts, especially in this scale, because there are there is detail on some of these. Like, for instance, this one has a door on it. So this one has to go on this side, like this. So we will take that and take my little uh, toothpick. Just get a little bit on the point, and we just put a little bit right in there, right in that corner. And then I will take my part and we'll put it on there. Think. Yeah, see, I was wrong this one that goes on this side. Yeah. Now sometimes I'll just take the part and just dip it right in the glue. This way I'm sure that it's got a good coat of glue on it. Stand up straight. Come on, keep out. And again, we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then while this is still a little bit loose, I could be able to adjust it all. So let's get this guy up. And yeah, he goes on the outside. By the way, I did scrape the paint away uh, that was under there. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't like doing uh, adhesive on top of glue. These parts will get glued down after this is painted. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This, these will get glued down before this gets painted, so they all get painted at the same time. All right, now, here's my other part right here. No, that's one. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay. There he goes. All right. Once I get this little guy in here, then I can adjust everything, and then I don't have to worry about. Now, there are bevels on these things, so you need to see which way they need to go. Oh. Oh, put them on the side. I'm on that side.
Alright guys, so now I am back on this build, uh, and as you can see I've got the uh, ship painted pretty much in that perfect gray that I showed you guys earlier. Um, I put all the uh, bridge together except for the very top here, uh, the smokestacks there, and now I'm going to start doing all the stuff that's in here. I also painted the hull in that Rust-Oleum uh, um, oxide red. And then I did my water line. So this actually could get married to that. It'd be all right to do that at this point. But I'm just not going to do that. So anyhow, all these parts up here, I believe, are pumps and winches and whatever they need to operate uh, the cargo ship, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting some of this stuff. And this is some of the stuff that's here and everything that's underneath this tape is also stuff that's got to go up there. I don't want them to be different colors. So, I'm going to go ahead and paint this and uh, we'll be back when I put some of the parts in there. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, while I was off camera, I went ahead and put some of the uh, deck details on here. As you can see, I put all the uh, machinery or whatever the heck they are. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I just put them on there as per the instructions. I also put some of the uh, details back here. Uh, I do, this one fell, I finally found it this morning, so I'm going to be putting that guy back on there. I also did some of the front on the bridge here, it looks pretty good. Uh, so now I am going to be doing, according to the instructions, the masts. Now these masts have 
three or four pieces that are attached to them. And what I'm going to do is I have this on tape right now. This is the first piece that has to get attached to the top of the mast. So that being said, I really don't know how to do this. It's really, really small stuff that needs to go on that. But I guess I'll get the mask going first. All right, so what I'm going to do is take a dab of glue. Now that's going to stick to this paper. I tried to do it just on the wax paper, but I couldn't do that because I have to hold this in place. So with that being said, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to put some glue on the end of this push pin and hopefully no, that didn't work. Okay. There's always more than one way to skin the cat, right? Okay. Now I'll have to hold that for until that sets up. Oh, wait a minute, I'm doing the wrong side. Uh, <laughs> glad I caught that. Now uh, the next part, I don't know how I'm going to do, if I'm going to put this on the ship and secure it, but I don't want to do that because I need to paint it. So, I'll figure that out as we go along. Remember what I said guys, building these ships is brand new stuff to me. Give me the model railroad thing and I will build it with no problem. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I guess some, while this is drying up, you can start building the, uh, the booms, the hoists and stuff like that. So stay tuned, let me get those parts ready, and uh, we'll start. Be right back. All right, guys, we're going to start putting these uh, booms together, I guess is what you want to call them. Uh, but I did notice that on the this J18 right here, uh, if you got to look at it because the top of it is actually on an angle. And that's going to match the angle on here. So, I'm putting on my on my mat here so I can keep uh, keep my uh, post perfectly straight. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll put a little bit of glue on here, and we'll get going. I'll do this first one here, and then I'll do the rest off camera, and then we'll kind of uh, they're going to get painted white. The white paint should be here today. So we'll go ahead and put a little dabby do on there, right there in the corner, and now. Now, there's also little uh, nubs on here that you got to match these up with. So let's see if I can get this on here. Might be better off just using my hand. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Come on. Yeah. Now, get on there. Man. There we go. And now we we'll just make sure we get straight. Sorry if my head was in the way there. Alright, we'll let that dry up. And meanwhile, I'll go ahead and start doing the rest of these just to show you how I'm going to be doing these. Alright guys, welcome back. What you're looking at now is uh, semi-completed USS Detroit. Uh, there is still a bunch more stuff I need to put on there, but we're not going to do that in this video because this video already got quite long. Uh, but you do see that I did build all the uh, stanchions here. They're not glued in place yet. Uh, let's do a 360 and let's see what we all look like. I got some touch up on the hull to do down there. Uh, there's more stuff that needs to go up here on the bridge. There's radar and stuff like that and some pieces that need to go down there um, There's going to be I Want to have hoses hanging from here, and I just don't know what kind of material I want to use 
Um, I was thinking of using regular thread, but that's way too thin. Then I had this other type of thread, which is way too big. And then I was going to use this, uh, what is it, 34? Yeah, 34 gauge. 30 gauge. I was going to use this 30 gauge. And it's close, but still just a little bit too big. So, I want to see if I can get, well, wait a minute, what did I say this was? Yeah, this is 30. I want to see if I can get 32 gauge. I have 34 gauge. 34 gauge is a little bit too small. So I need to get, here's, here is the, uh, they can't even see that. <laughs> that's, that's 34 gauge. Anyhow, um, let's trip around here a little further. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> I don't believe that. There you go. All right, so basically everything is on there. Like I said, none of these are glued in it because I'm going to have to do some work on it. But I noticed on the real ship that there are catwalks on top of these guys, I guess, to get to the hoses and the mechanisms and whatever. Uh, anyhow, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this part of the build. And as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. Gemini Scale Model Builds out for now.